Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go Hey my squeeze, this is me Chad and I'm back at you with another video And today I'm doing a life update video I haven't posted it in like two weeks and the reason why I haven't posted in two weeks is because we had another unexpected loss, unexpected death in my family again. So this is another unexpected death two months after my uncle passed away. So my cousin passed away. He was only 31 years old. We don't know what happened yet. Um, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I went to Nashville, Tennessee. I just probably got back four days ago. And we went to Nashville, Tennessee because that's where he lived for the past like 10 years or something like that. He moved to Tennessee, Nashville. And no, I think it was longer than 10 years. I don't know. But um, I went to Nashville to say goodbye to him for the last time and to see him in that casket was devastating just like my uncle it was devastating and I just saw my cousin two months ago at my uncle's funeral because that was my cousin's my cousin who passed away his uncle too so I saw him two months ago at my uncle's funeral and uh, we were talk. I was talking to him about my weight because he's like, "Cuz I heard that you're that you're working out and losing weight." I guess my dad told him. Cause my dad be talking about my weight loss. Anyways, <laughs> so we were talking about that, and, and his his he just proposed to his long term girlfriend. So we were saying congratulations to that. And I wasn't supposed to go to Nashville until June of 2024 when he got married. I was not expecting it. I was not expecting to go to Nashville in September for his funeral. This just came and hit me unexpectedly. My dad came to the house. My dad was in, on vacation. And he called me at like 8 o'clock at night. And he's like, I'm coming to your home. I'm coming to your house. I'm like, what? I said, aren't you on vacation? Like, what are you doing back home? And he's like, I'll tell you when I get there. And I said, okay, dad. So I called my mom freaking out. And I was like, mom, dad's home from vacation. I don't know what's going on, but I think somebody died. That's what I said. Because why? <clears throat> Sorry. Is it because why is my dad home early from vacations? He doesn't come home early for vaca from vacations. So I'm like panicking to my mom. I'm like, Mom, I'm really scared. I am really scared. I do not know what he is coming here for. And my mom's like, well, keep me on the phone while he's there. And I said, no, I don't want to do that. I said, just. I'll call you after I find out why dad's home. So my dad came knocking on the door and he just grabbed me and gave me a hug. And I said, what's wrong dad? Like that, like I was like get so scared. I was like, what's wrong? And then he told me that my cousin passed away. And I'm like, what? And I hit him. I hit him, he said. I don't remember this. But I hit him, he said. And I ran up the stairs. And I was like, no, you're lying. You're lying. And I was like, don't be lying to me like that. Stop lying. And um, I just went into complete shock. I said, we just lost somebody. I said, what happened? Like, And I was just crying. So I called my mom. And I told my mom, I'm like, Mom, there was an unexpected death in the family. Somebody died. 
and she's like, I said, don't tell my sister, because dad was going to her house next to tell her. My dad didn't want me to tell her over the phone. So my mom called me again, and I said, she's like, who was it? And I said, mom, is Chris near you? That's my sister's name. And she's like, no, who was it? And I told her, and she's like, oh my God. And got real quiet and got real sad. And I'm like, Mom. And then this made me start crying more. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, And I was just, like, crying. And just, like, a disbelief. I'm like, there's no freaking way. Like, <sighs> so we started making flight arrangements a couple of days after to go to Nashville. So... I was in Nashville for three and a half days, and I like Nashville, but I didn't want to go be in Nashville for that. I wasn't supposed to be in Nashville until June 2024, and I was saving up for that. So, I was upset that I had to go to Nashville like this, and I, I didn't even want to enjoy myself. I'm like, I don't even want to enjoy myself. Like the day of my cousin's funeral, we spent all day with the family. But then we had two, three more days left. And I'm like, what are we going to do? Like, I don't want to have fun because I'm going to feel guilty. I'm going to feel like I just didn't want to have fun. I was depressed about my cousin. But we had some fun. Because my cousin would want us to have fun. He wouldn't want us to just lay around in the hotel room while we're in Nashville. So we had some fun, but all I kept thinking about was my cousin and my aunt, his mom, and everybody. Like, I was just, like, so worried about everybody. And his fiance, I was so worried about her. I still am worried about her. And it's just been really depressing to lose two people within two months from each other in the same family so we going we're going through a lot right now we're going through tremendous tremendous losses and two unexpected losses at that so it's not like we expected this like they had a disease or something even that's sad but you expect that they're going to pass away. These two, my uncle and my cousin, were two unexpected passings, so we did not expect this at all. So it's hit my family really, really hard, and we're, we're taking it day by day, but we're like really sad and really upset about it and depressed. I feel empty, and like you know when my uncle died, I was on Instagram crying and I was just like I feel so empty but now I felt even extra empty even double empty like I just feel lost like I just can't believe I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna spend holidays with them anymore I used to spend holidays with them all the time like Thanksgiving and Christmases they were always around so it was just, it's just sad, and just, if you guys can, can you guys, like, pray for my family, and, you know, keep listening to you guys' prayers, that would, I would really appreciate that, and my cousin was such a, he has such a good heart, he never judged anybody, he was hard working, he just brought a house, like, last year, he had a fiance. He had a good job. Like he but did good in his life. He graduated college. Like he did a lot of good things in his life. So all I have now is the memories. And I'm just gonna cherish those. And you know, it's gonna be hard without my uncle and my cousin. But yeah um but anyways 
that is my life update and sorry it's a sad life update but I'm transparent with you guys and I'm real with you guys like I'm never gonna be fake on here so that's why I haven't been posting in two weeks but I'm gonna get back to posting what do you guys want to see let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on vacation bell and say now every time me, I, Kara Dimples post another video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man, I still go.